morning. God bless you guys in Jesus' name. Praise ye the name of the Lord. For the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it, and they are saved. I did a video not too long ago, and that video was about the word kava, and it's out of Isaiah 40, verse 31. And you guys know the scripture, right? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and mount up like wings of eagle, like, like, like the wings of eagles. Now watch this. Do you guys know that eagles are the only bird that when a storm comes, they don't flee the storm? They actually get excited when the storm comes. They head towards the storm. See, and I talked about the word kava. They that wait, it's the word wait, kava. It means to bind to. Watch this. They that kava, they that wait upon the Lord, they that bind to the Lord, shall renew their strength like wings of eagles mount up now watch this so eagles are are the only bird that when a storm is coming pitch dark storm thunder lightning however it is you want to see the storm all, all of the other birds flee, not the eagle. The eagle anticipates and sees the storm coming and begins to head in the direction of the storm. And once the eagle gets in the midst of the storm, going head on with it, he gets in a pocket in the center of it, in the smack dab right in the middle of it, and throws his wings wide open. <laughs> and as soon as he throws his wings open, watch this, the wind of the storm thrust him above it. Then, when he gets above the storm, he now is over the storm in the peace and the be still of the Lord. They that wait, they that kava, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength see sometimes brothers and sisters it's not about running from the storm it's not about being it's not even about being afraid of the storm it's about it's about knowing who you are in the storm going into it knowing that the storm plays a vital part of your elevation because the nature of the eagle has built in him the ability to spread out of what he needs in the storm of what he needs in the storm to propel him above and beyond it so that that way he's now above it and he's not even phased by it <laughs> so the storm was only for a moment but he saw it coming and when he saw it coming he went full force right in this is what I need to propel me 
to the top. This is what I need. And when I get in the middle of this, when I get smack dab right in the center of this storm, in the eye of the storm, when I get right down in the middle of it, Isaiah 40, 31, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and mount up like eagles. Kava. They that kava upon the Lord. They that bind to, hold on, the Lord. Because in Christ shall you mount up like wings as the eagle. And he, in the storm with you, will say unto it of what's built in you because of the nature of Christ for you shall say peace and be still. The storm was used to propel you and to thrust you through so that that way you are not affected by it. You are over it and you now can see at a higher and a different dimension of the other birds that are below it getting hit by the rain, getting hit by the winds, getting hit that, that tree getting struck by lightning and that and those birds are in it don't phase the eagle oh no because he's too kava <laughs> he's in the kava of the Lord because he was binded to because he knew and understood how he was built and you're built to endure and to embrace the storm in Jesus' name. And let nothing and let no storm rob you and stop you from you getting above it so that you can soar and fly in the peace and be still. Be blessed in Jesus' name.